Good evening, Professor Bobo and my fellow classmates. My name's Emily Shackley, and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about a man named John Baptiste Point du Sable. He was born in 1750 in St. Mark, Haiti, to a Frenchman and a Haitian woman. In 1770, he settled at the mouth of the Chicago River and found a Powhatomi wife whose English name was Catherine. They had a kid and then ended up moving north towards the Great Lakes where he befriended a group of Indians. Um, this is actually a very important aspect of his life because this specific group of Indians was not very welcome to outsiders. Um, however, he was able to help them hunt and teach them how to trade and they also taught him some valuable life skills. Once he left there, he settled up north at the mouth of the Chicago River and set up a trading post. This trading post had a bakery, a mill, um, of course a trading post for travelers and pioneers, and it, he made a decent amount of money off of this because it was a very high traveled area, and a lot of people came through needing certain goods that they needed to get farther ahead. Um, once he established this permanent home in the region, he continued adding to it. He added also a smokehouse, a dairy, um, and a couple of other things. Later in his life, though, he did go through some hardships. Um, his trading post became wildly successful and he was known around the region, but him and his family were eventually detained by British soldiers for about five years during the Revolutionary War. Uh, around 1784, he brought his wife and his two kids home. Uh, they went back to his land and had a Catholic priest marry him and Catherine. Um, he ended up eventually selling his land for about $1,200. The reason isn't really known, but he moved to modern day Peoria for around 13 years and then he sold his land again. After that he moved to St. Charles, Missouri for about five years and then he died penniless in 1818. Um, an important fact about him is in Chicago he is the first resident but his great granddaughter is actually the first child born in Chicago. And there are several museums with exhibits uh, in his honor. There's schools named after him. There's streets named after him. And he lived an all-around pretty successful life. He, I mean, he died happy. He had his family. He wasn't. He was a free man his whole life, from what is known. And that is the story of John Baptiste Point Du Sable. I just want to conclude by thanking everybody for listening, and I encourage you all to do your own research to see just how relevant he still is in present-day Chicago.